Water is not a particularly sexy topic to make a video about. It's something that we use every day. It's part of our routine. We use it to clean, we drink it. Water is not something that we give a lot of thought to, unless all of a sudden you didn't have it. So I wanna to talk to you guys for just a second about something that's going on in the photography community that I am really proud of. This is a project that a couple of my colleagues have put together that I wanna share with you guys today because I, this is a wonderful story and it's a really cool thing that they're doing. Some of you may be familiar with a gentleman who has a YouTube channel. He goes by the name Michael the Maven. He has a photography channel, it's very good. He is also an operations manager for the Salvation Army and he is in Puerto Rico right now. So if you've watched the news at all in the last couple months, you are probably aware of the situation with this year's hurricane season that that was pretty devastating, first in my home state of Texas, but then also in Florida, and probably the hardest hit has been Puerto Rico. The devastation in Puerto Rico has been catastrophic, and you're talking about people who've been left without electricity and without running water, without standard supplies that you and I take for granted every day that they just don't have access to. Now, because of the nature of the situation in Puerto Rico, it's also been a logistical nightmare to actually get people the supplies that they need. When you take things for granted, for instance, running water, that's something that I don't even think about. I can get up and I can go get a glass of water right now. I'm not worried about what's in it. It's a different situation down there when you don't have access to clean water, not only for bathing, but also for drinking. And this is just staying alive. This is like not only just individuals, but it's people with families. It's a really bad situation. So Chelsea Northrup reached out to this company that makes these very basic water filtration systems. It's just like a bag and you put a filter over the top. You're able to pour the dirty water in. It filters it out. There's a simple way of cleaning it. And these things are reusable for like up to 300 gallons of water. It's pretty amazing. So the Northrops came up with this idea, along with Michael, of putting together a project that people could donate money on the internet. We could buy as many of these filtration systems as possible and then have them delivered directly to people in Puerto Rico. Most of you guys probably watch these other channels and you likely already know about this project, but I wanted to talk about it because it's something that I'm really proud to see the photography community pulling together to do. And I wanted to make sure that you guys knew about it. You know, I do videos every now and then where I talk about things. I did one when the hurricane hit Texas a few months ago. And I say this a a lot, and I don't mean it for it to sound cheesy, but it's something I honestly believe that in life we are defined by two things the relationships that we have and our actions. And there are times where the right thing to do is to put the camera down for a minute and give to a greater cause. And I think this is one that's particularly interesting. Chelsea reached out to tell me about the project and I told her I was really interested in getting involved. They've already raised a very significant amount of money and I was like, how can I help you do more with this? And she said, well, why don't you donate some stuff that we could give away as incentives? So we talked about it for a little while. I'm going to pitch in 10 prints and these are gonna be kind of limited editions. So if you donate up at the $100 level, I believe Tony has put some prints in as well as Michael as well, but while they last, you guys can choose one if you want to do that. So I'm gonna give 10 signed prints in. And the other thing that I thought would be particularly interesting to do is something that I never do. So I get requests all the time for portfolio reviews, and it's something that I really don't do in general. And it's basically a time restraint on my end. I don't wanna give somebody a casual review of their work without being able to go in depth with them. It's certainly something that I don't wanna do on the show. I know I do it a little bit with photo assignments, but I'm talking about a full portfolio portfolio review. Plus, I also need to know in terms of if that's something you want to do, what are your goals? What are your ambitions as a photographer? And so I just typically don't do these. I told Chelsea I would do three of these. So if you donate at the $300 level, I will give you an hour of my time on Skype. We can go over your work or whatever you want to talk about. So that is the deal. I will put a link to the campaign in the show description, and I strongly encourage you guys to go check it out. There are some really nice incentives in there, or you can just go donate money to the cause. The one last thing I want to say about this, I had very little to do with this. I'm just helping out. But I am really proud of my colleagues um, that have found a way for something that's very personal to them to bring us together as a community to do our part. That's the important part. So to Tony and Chelsea and Michael, I think this is just outstanding and I'm flattered to be involved with it, but it really, I have very little to do with it. This is all them and I couldn't be more proud to be amongst this community that they are a big part of. So anyway, go check that out. Also go check out Tony and Chelsea's video where they talk about the water filtration stuff. It's actually pretty interesting, very simple devices, and uh, this could make a big difference in a lot of people's lives. Until the next video, I will see you guys then. Later.